Alexei and uh, Franco. Uh, you talked about the creablation of um, bone tumors. Uh, let me describe it in more detail. When we have a uh, bone tumors, in most cases, these are metastases. Uh, um, and uh, primary malignant and benign tumors are no more than 4% altogether. The most uh, uh, frequent bone metastases are in uh, breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, and uh, renal uh, cancer. Most uh, dangerous are the la three letter and the thyroid uh, cancer as well. Bones are uh, the third most uh, frequent uh, target for metastasis after lungs and liver. And if we find them in lungs and liver, we are kind of prepared to expect them in bones uh, as well. Many patients suffer from this pathology. Some, some 280,000 new cases of bone metastasis are diagnosed um, annually. And a lot of uh, money in US, around $13 billion, are allocated for treatment of patients with this pathology. Which bones are impacted? Uh, um, it doesn't happen evenly, mainly vertebral uh, pelvis. Uh, and want to remember that some 80% of metastases are outside the spine. And that's when we can uh, help our patients. Uh, if it's a vertebra, it's a very difficult uh, surgery that uh, um, uh, makes a person um, handicapped. Uh, but other locations uh, may be assisted with uh, surgery. Uh, what are the complications? Uh, it's a pathological bone syndrome, uh, uh, fractures, compression of um, uh, spinal cord, hypercalcemia, myelin suppression, and uh, the lower uh, quality of life. Um, some three quarters of patients uh, suffer from certain uh, bone complications, uh, disregarding the standard anti-tumor therapy. Uh, what may be the local impact on the um, uh, tumor uh, focus? Um, uh, most frequently, they use uh, these radiotherapy. However, there are some limitations. Uh, the limitation is that uh, we can't uh, do irradiation many times. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, do uh, something if uh, these metastases are multiple. Surgical treatment is also very uh, difficult in a weak patient, um, um, may be handicapped with such a uh, surgery. Uh, my minimum invasive uh, surgical technologies are being used nowadays, um, including cryoablation and uh, focused ultrasound. It's a relatively new technology. It has its pros and cons, uh, and it's not widely spread yet. What are the benefits of uh, minimum invasive um, uh, technologies? Uh, uh, trauma is minimum, the one caused by surgery. A local anesthesia may be used, uh, less complications, shorter hospitalization, cheaper treatment, and uh, these procedures may be repeated. Um, if it's a secondary lesion of bone, most likely we will not stop the disease. There will be a progression, but we should offer something to such um, patients uh, to improve their quality of life and to bring down the pain syndrome. Um, narcotics and analgetics also have their limits nowadays. Does these minimum invasive procedures uh, are of great assistance? Uh, most frequent methods of ablation, thermal and non-thermal methods, they were already mentioned um, today, radio frequency, microwave, cryoablation, laser ablation, non, which one to choose? Uh, well, there's a lot of researchers uh, that uh, uh, prove that uh, these are competing methods, uh, but cryoablation has certain benefits. Uh, in particular, it brings down the pain syndrome pretty well. Um, what's necessary for success at ablation? Uh, first of all, we should be precise in positioning of the probe or electrode. That's the token of success. 
After we install the probe, certain target parameters are to be achieved, the physical impact. Positioning is the first thing, but uh, if we didn't transmit the necessary energy or we'd, if we didn't create the necessary temperature, we won't achieve the planned effect. We should control very well our impact. If it's cryo ablation, we can visualize the ice ball and thus understand uh, the margin of our impact. Other methods are not as good from this point of view. Cryo ablation is the best. Also, adverse effects are to be understood, and we should be ready to resolve them. Same requirements to um, visualization, that we should have efficient visualization of the tumor and the surrounding uh, tissues. Uh, the uh, data should be repeatable. A visualization should be harmless, if possible, or the harm should be minimum. It should be available. It should be relatively uh, cheap. It shouldn't limit uh, the choice of our tools at ablation. Now, what is used nowadays? First of all, the ultrasound and uh, CT navigation or guidance. Um, up to the year 2000, according to statistics uh, earlier, they were using mainly the ultrasound visualization uh, for guidance of um, um, interventions. Nowadays, the situation is uh, changing, and CT is used for visualization control more and more. Tools. We are using uh, Russian-made probes and the Russian-made uh, system or device called MKS. You see the probes and the equipment on the slide. We also use a robotic system which enables to install the necessary equipment precisely enough. enough. What are, are the main methods of stereotactic city navigation? First of all, there's a continuous um, a mode. This uh, is available only with CT. No additional equipment is uh, unnecessary. And stage by stage, a uh, movement of a cryo probe takes place so we can control its uh, position. But we understand that this method is mainly used in case of simple tra trajectories of tools movement. If it doesn't uh, deviate much uh, from the horizontal and vertical axis. It uh, also, the uh, traumatization of neighbor organs is um, a low. The risk is uh, a low. This is the lung cancer patient, um, aged 56, uh, metastasis. Um, there's the needle, local anesthesia. The introduce is already installed. Cryo probe is going to be introduced into it. And there's the cryo probe in the destruction foci. That's the picture of the procedure. And the arrow uh, points at the spheric area. That's the ice ball. All the metastatic foci is within this ice ball. And that provides the future control of the tumor. One more poor patients with breast cancer, age 63, uh, some metastasis in bones. Not many options are good for this uh, patient uh, if it's surgery. It's a very big uh, uh, surgery, traumatizing surgery. Uh, radiation is better, radiotherapy. Uh, the patient suffers from a strong pain syndrome, so just the radiotherapy uh, shall not delay the p uh, sh shall delay the pain killing, and we need to assist her right now. There are two introducers and two cryo uh, probes installed. That's the ice ball that completely covers the necessary area. If you know the anatomy, you can see that this ice ball is very close to the vein. However, with no negative consequences, uh, there's no bleeding. Main reasons of 
incorrect installation of the tools. Um, sometimes the visual and manual control are difficult if there are deviations of tools from different axes. Um, also, in case of local necessity, the patient may start moving or breathing of the patient may be a uh, difficulty. Yeah, patients are bleeding, uh, b breathing, so there may be some shifts. Um, also, our tool may simply slide um, along the bone surface. Um, and if perforation is uh, complicated, uh, the trajectory may change, uh, and we get not where we planned. Uh, what may be of assistance? Um, uh, CT fluoroscopy enables us better visualization. We install in real mode time. We're next to the patient when moving the tool, and we see where it's located at um, every point. Um, but hence, you should understand that not only the patient, but also the doctor gets irradiated. Um, this navigation method is not used frequently in bone uh, tumors because uh, bones are not getting dislocated too much. These are not movable organs. Um, that's prostate cancer patient, age 62, metastasis in the rib. Two cryoprobes are installed. And you see the ice ball that uh, gets towards the lung tissue. It means it included all the metastatic foci or focus. One more navigation method, that's a, a robot-assisted system. Initially, it enables to create the plant model of ablation area and to position several tools uh, simultaneously in case several probes are to be used simultaneously. And we can position the tools at different angles and thus uh, avoid uh, uh, complications at installation of the uh, probes. Um, that's the shoulder bone, uh, head. That's the planning of the future ice um, balls, uh, robot navigator. And that's the control stage. The ice balls are in the right place. One more example, the patient with colon cancer and um, third vertebra uh, destruction, a difficult area because uh, this is vena cava, a uh, place aorta, and um, uh, some intestines are uh, there as well. So targeting should be very precise. Uh, that's a robotic uh, planning, positioning of the tool in the necessary direction, installation stage. You can uh, see the ice sphere. It's close to aorta, to ureter, to duodenum. Um, however, uh, well, the good visualization and good installation of the cryoprobe enables a high precision of our surgery, and we do achieve the pain-killing effect. In conclusion, I'd like to tell the following. CT navigation enables us to precisely position cryoprobes for ablation of a bone uh, tumors uh, to um, well visualize the ice ball and to avoid uh, complications of um, uh, surgery. Depending on the situation, we can choose the best uh, uh, method of CT navigation, consecutive uh, mode uh, CT fluoroscopy or robot-assisted approach. Thank you.